Microsoft Word from Mac Office, a full tutorial, the tricks and the tips, everything you need to know in order to get started. So without further ado, let us start the video. So the first thing you have to do is go to your dock, go to your launch pad, click on this. Where is Microsoft Word? There it is. Click on this. And we are presented with a gallery. I can take this to full screen using HyperDoc or I can click on this to go full screen. We can get out of full screen. We can actually take a tour. So if I click on this and then we are presented with Welcome to Word, six tips for a simpler way to work, quick access to commands, look professional your way. You can read through all of this before you actually start typing up a Word document, work for school, work. And so if we just click out of this, go back to Word, click on this, and now we can start a blank document or we can go to recent, we can go to open, but for this time we are starting a brand new document. So if I go to blank document, and this is what we are presented with for the first time when you click on the blank document, we can take this to full screen and now we can increase the size of this, take it bigger, make it smaller, and we can use our trackpad to do the same thing. So at the moment I am using my trackpad or not my mouse. So if we just get out of full screen for the moment, and here we have a navigation bar on top. So Word, File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, Table, Window, and Help. You can use the Help search bar in order to search for important things that you may not know where they are or if it's the first time you might be doing it. If you might be trying to export into a PDF file, you might not know how to do that. So you can use search in order to help you circumvent the process. And so we can take a look at the layout. If we want to change the page from portrait to landscape, we can do that. We can also go back to portrait and narrow the margins if we want to. So I can just type in, hello. This is my first document. on Microsoft Word, full stop. And now I can make the margins moderate, wide, mirrored, or we can go back to normal, or we can have custom margins where we can decide the length of the top, the bottom, the left, the right. So if I click on OK, if I copy this once or twice, thrice, all this is missed out because the margin ends here. And so if I go to normal, that's what we have. So if I take this to the next line, we can also look at the size if we want A4 or A5. So that is A5. When this gets printed out, this is A5. Go back to size A3, twice the size of A4. Take it back to A4, increase the size of this. And so we can have line numbers if we need to, continuous, one, two, three, four, five. So if I type something in, Next line, we have the line numbers. Command Z removes everything and goes back to the past of what you were at. We can also save this document if we really need to. So Command S will allow us to save this document. So if I just type in my first document and we can save this to the desktop for later access and we can change this to many different file formats, documents, HTMLs, text, PDF files, even Word 2003 if we really need to, .xml. And so save, so once that has been saved, it is here on the desktop. 
So if I close out of this and now double click this, it opens the same file and whatever was saved, that is what we see on screen. So if I now just make this into full screen and now we can change this into bold, italics, underline. We can also change the font to Arial if we really need to. Remove underline italics and bold, change the size from 12 to say 22, or we can click on this and go back to 12. We can change the color to red. We can also highlight it to all green or red in this case, but we won't be able to see that. So if I just go back to black, so it's black on red and no color okay and so I can put this into the middle the right put this to the left bullet point or numbers or I can have a spacing of 1.5 this is very good for essay writing a dissertation you need the spacing to be 1.5 and so we are now able to if I just take this back to a spacing of one, if I want to insert a table, I can insert a table, but before doing any of that, we can insert some word art as a title. So if I needed to go to help and say I need some word art, I would click on word art and there it is. So if I go insert and word art, and that is what I get. Space there. Click on this, put this right on the top and say my first ever document. And drag this to the middle of the page. And double click this. And we have this on the side so we're able to change the shadow make it transparent, fill this in, solid fill, transparency, a pattern fill, click on this again, no fill, solid fill, change the color to red if we need to, and so we can get out of that, Go to the internet, Safari, Wikipedia, take some text, copy all of this, leave Safari, and now go all the way down and paste this. And now we will edit everything. So if I just remove this, highlight everything bold removes everything anything in italics goes anything that was underlined now goes change this to all black change the font to Arial so now everything is in Arial change all the mistakes add to the dictionary remove this you can also remove this If we want to, we could delete this by right clicking and cutting. We still have it paste, so we can Command V, paste it, but we will just delete this. Click on this and delete it, it goes. And then we can put in our own title, such as My First Ever Word Document couple of spaces there now increase the size change it to bold put it in the middle underline this okay and take a backspace there and now we can get a photo from the internet if we need to a sky photo so if I click on images take this save images as 
sky and to the desktop so we have easy access move out of safari and now we can actually insert an image or we can just do click on this and drag it to the page so at the moment I might not be able to move this around or I can but I can right click format the picture and we are looking for wrap text so if I click on this I can make this square make it tight so when it's tight I can actually move it around if I really need to I can copy this and paste have one here and have one here so that's the same make that in line with that and now I can insert a table if I really need to so insert click on this one two two by two and there you go we can remove all the borders if we need to command Z and we can say name move this here type in the name type in the age 23 make these smaller so that's a table done we can add some shapes if we really need to so if I click on this and put this here we can change the color double click this change the color from blue to black close this we also have the ability to put in a cover page if we need to so if I just click on the first one and that is the cover page that I can say click on this my first ever document remove this put my name in here increase the size of this we can also get rid of all this text we don't need this some people may want to have one page here a one page here we can do that by going on view go to multiple pages and there we go one page on the left one page on the right so we can then focus on two pages all at once we can also insert page numbers go to insert page numbers right and bottom of the page show number on the first page yes there is the first page number okay one two and now if we go to our third page we can actually have landscape and portrait on the same page so if we go to file page setup and now go to orientation Microsoft Word whole document this point forward okay so now we have portrait and landscape in the same document so that's amazing sometimes you might need to put a table this way rather than this way so that's why people love to have portrait and landscape on the same word document because if I just drag this table it just makes the word document look a bit neater And now we can resave as a PDF file. So if I do Command Shift S, my first document file format will be a PDF file. So if I do save, a photo of this section is set outside the printable area of the page. Do you want to continue? Yes. And so if I click on what I have in my desktop before doing that, Command Save, yes, my first document. And here it is, go to full screen. One, two, three, close out of this. Go back to my first document. Increase the size of this. And now if I do go to a fourth page, 
and that page is still landscape. If I go back to file, page setup, orientation changes to portrait, Microsoft Word, this point forward, and now it changes. So if I want a new page, and so now we have portrait from this onward. So save this, close out of this. Do you want the last item copy to be available after you quit Word? Yes, that will be okay. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.